know I sound like a broken record at this point. Can you please put on the Crosma Steam and Ultra Sun? All right, whatever, man. We'll do it. I do hate Sun and Moon. Like, it is the worst fucking Pokemon game to ever exist, but I'll do it, all right? I will do it. Yeah, dude, Pokemon Sun and Moon are the only Pokemon games I've never finished. Same. I could never get through it. <laughs> I just got so bored with it. Scotty Man with the two, can you play Mega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Magma, Team Aqua Leader music? Yeah, I can do it. I mean, the organs in the background kind of sound pretty cool in this. Bro, when is Nintendo, like, releasing the pre-orders for that Palkia and Dialga Switch Lite? Like, bro, I'm buying, like, 15 of those. I don't even care, man. I'm getting a shit ton. I used to have that exact same design on my DS. Like, bro, I am so fucking hyped for that Switch Lite. I love that design. Like, I'm getting a literal ton of them. Like, I legitimately will buy, like, 10. Already happened, I think. I haven't seen them go live anywhere. Not in the US, at least. They may. Have, I know they went live in Japan, because you can buy them off of eBay, the Japanese version, but you can't buy the US version yet. Like, if I look it up, Palkia, Dialga, Switch. Yeah, the only ones are like the Japanese ones. Yeah, from Japan, Canada, Japan, 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 Canada, Japan, 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 Canada, Japan, 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 Japan. Yeah, it's all it's like all the Japanese consoles. They haven't gone live in the U.S. yet. Bro, I hope it's GameStop exclusive. GameStop doesn't have a fucking order limit. I've literally bought like three grand worth of fucking Pokemon celebrations at retail through GameStop. So, personally. Swap it. So, Aqua Leader Music. There we go. So, Osborne Mangeki with the fun. My favorite Pokemon battle is Ash vs. Paul and Sinnoh League conference and the anime was intense as fuck doesn't paul kick his ass hopefully i hope fucking hate ash but i guess i'll do a couple more or i'll do another match and then we'll get into some videos if you guys want Bro, I got a celebrations box the other day. Scored the golden Mew. Awesome, man. As of right now, I'm holding my golden Mews. I got two of them. So. I don't know if you guys can hear this. That tapping noise is me beating them against my mic. So, yeah, we'll get into videos after this match. It's nice. I can stay out tonight because it's the fucking weekend, bro. Hold up. We got to end this shit with a banger real quick. All right. What is like... 
Let's do, I think it's, wait, um, is it this one? Am I thinking of the right one? Yeah, this shit's a fucking classic, man. This shit is a fucking classic, man. So, Lyra with the two, red battle theme from Heart Gold. So, so I'll put that on after this ends. I don't think the match will be over by then. So, Peaches with the two, what card protectors do you use this in the PSA? I just buy card saver ones, but I also put them in penny sleeves from Ultra Pro before I put them in the card savers. But the company I use is called Card Saver Ones by Cardboard Gold. So the company itself is called Cardboard Gold, and they're called Card Savers. I would recommend buying directly from them if you can. Way cheaper. And Logic Bender with the two game OSTs affected the music I make. It got me in the EDM. Fair enough, then. Got him. Bro, I finessed that man hardcore. EDP 445 music? Hell yeah, man. Hi, Popo? With the six? Appreciate it, man. I said your name right. Shit. He had overshield. Unfortunate. So, red theme, heart gold. All right. And Blitzkrieg Boy with the two Gen 3 music was amazing as well. Yeah, I agree. This one? Dude, I'm just, I would say the number one thing I'm looking forward to 100% is the music. I would say in the new Diamond and Pearl remakes because they're going to fucking redo all of the songs. And they're going to be like an actual good quality now. They're not going to be ripped from a 3D or a DS. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Hyper with the eight months of tier one. Wow, eight months. Appreciate you, man. 
No, nah, Nintendo doesn't give a fuck about their music if you're just playing it. Because it's video game music, so they probably just are assuming I'm streaming the game if their copyright system even detects it. Damn, bro, we kind of clapped these bitches this game. What the fuck? This one gun our team's popping the fuck off, bro. 22 kills. Oh, shit. Yo, what it? <laughs> ah, shit, I tried to finesse him. The power of Pokemon music enhances one's gaming skills? I guess so, man. If only I had skills to enhance, though, right? If only, bro. But I think we're done with this match. See, I'll pull up. I'll go ahead and pull up YouTube while we're waiting for one person to get one more kill. Let's see. So, YouTube. All right. Let me put it on, on dark mode so nobody gets fucking flashbanged. And, alright, that's ready to go. Bro, how are we not getting one kill in this span of time? Fine, I'll do it myself. If you want things done right, you have to do it yourself. Blitzkrieg Boy with the two, bro. Deoxys theme was so sick as well. Yeah, it was definitely different, that's for fucking sure. That is for fucking sure. All right, so let me back out, and then I will swap over. Yo, Griff, what's your take on CLB? It's ass, bro. I'm not a, certifi or a certified boy lover, so I can't really rock with it, bro. I don't know. I don't really like Drake that much. I think he's a better feature artist than an actual, like, solo artist. Like, I think Drake's best songs are all songs that he didn't fucking make. I think he's better in features. Like, a lot of my favorite songs have fucking Drake features, so he's good in those songs. Like, for example, um, the song Fucking Problems. Like, that shit goes hard as fuck. He actually sounds really good in that. But, like, his solo albums are, like, him, like, singing and shit. I don't fucking know. Drake is boo-boo. Bro, the Drake <laughs> kind of guy memes are funny as shit, though. Um, let's see. So let me back out of this. Do I have anything to unlock? Nope. All right. We got YouTube open. You can see it. All right. So somebody said to watch GTA. Gameplay and graphics finally revealed for GTA 5 Trilogy Definitive Edition. Oh, my God. All right, let's go, bro. He's got those Birdman money hands, bro. Like, what the fuck? Let's see this shit. I haven't really even looked at this that much. I saw some screenshots. That was about it. What it gamers, Dreamcast guy here, talking today about the Grand Theft Auto Remastered Trilogy, because this has been one of those projects that's already had a bit of controversy about it. I've talked in the past about how some gamers have been upset about how they're delisting the original games. These remasters are basically replacing the original projects, and also, it does sound like this is going to be a full 60 or maybe even $70 versions of these games. So I want to take a look at the facts because this morning, Rockstar has finally confirmed everything we need to know 
about the GTA Remaster Trilogy called the Definitive Edition. Now, what strikes my eye is a couple... I think our boy Dreamcast guy is a little bit sick, man. ...different things. I've been most curious about what specific gameplay updates are going to make this feel better, make it feel more modern, make it feel more fun, hopefully. And additionally, let's see how big that graphics boost is actually going to be. Now, please, if you would, just give this video a like and subscribe because of... Did people give it a like? Eh, not too bad. Filming this super early in the morning, the sun's not even up, and here I am talking about video games because I love... Bro, why are you awake and the sun isn't even up? Like, you literally do YouTube for a living. Like, why the fuck are you waking up early? Love you guys. Now, let's take a look at the most important details. Let's start things off with... Bro, that's the thing. When I was doing YouTube as, like, my only thing, I'd sleep till, like, fucking 4 p.m., bro. <laughs> like, fuck that shit. I'd be damned if I'm waking up early. Just talking out. This is coming out here in three weeks. November 11th, coming to PS5, Xbox Series X, P uh, Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Great, okay? Now... Let's look at what matters most. In my opinion, the thing I've been most curious about is what makes this feel different. So I'm scrolling past graphics because first and foremost, I want to see this. Updated player that. experience, making it even easier to play these classic games, including GTA-style controller layout. That doesn't fucking mean anything, bro. It just means it has the same control scheme. Thank God. Improve gunplay and... Bro, you're literally just remapping the buttons. That doesn't actually improve the gameplay. <laughs> like, that does nothing. Targeting controls with upgraded drive-by mechanics in GTA San Andreas. So, just first and foremost, both of these are gigantic. Like... No, they're fucking not. It's literally just remapping buttons, bro. I don't know. Shuffling what would the two Smash players smell? I don't know, man. If people want to watch it, maybe. But I took a look at that, like I told you before. I don't really know if it's worth watching on stream. Uh, Oscar Wesco, the two controversy, he basically just described himself. I mean, I guess, yeah. But if you guys want to watch the video, we can, maybe. I don't know. Is there any interest in it? I don't know. You guys let me know. I've been chiefing with the two. I'm glad that the remasters is going to be on Game Pass. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You don't have to pay for them. Travis of the two, Dreamcast guy, intro music, more iconic. The poke. All right, man, that's fighting words. Be careful. Be very careful. It's called Smash Player Smell. Like, you guys can go look at it real quick and see if you want me to watch it. I can do a poll real quick. I'll do it for like a minute or so. All right. All right, it should be up. I recently played a bunch of these old games. I originally played these just back in the day. We're getting three separate games in the GTA Remastered Trilogy, obviously. We're getting GTA 3, GTA Vice City, and GTA San Andreas. Fuck, now it's fucking These games, close. when they originally came out, would do stuff that was downright stupid. Like, X was your way of accelerating, and if you touched the triggers, that was your look left and look right. And look, let me tell you, when you're trying to shoot and stuff, it's very aggravating to have such backwards controls. Modernizing stuff like just the simplistic controller layout is a huge deal. Now, it's interesting that they say improved gunplay and targeting controls. I wonder if it's still going to have the lock-on system. Let's keep reading here. Updated weapon and radio station selection wheels. Okay, so that makes it where you'll be able to easily switch to do stuff instead of just pressing like the way it works in the other game. Wow. Did you press next weapon, next weapon, next weapon, or next uh, radio station, next radio station? Okay, that's great. Updated mini-map with enhanced navigation, allowing players to set waypoints and destinations. Oh my god. Heck yes. No more getting lost or constantly opening the map again and again to figure out what streets you're on. The ability to immediately restart a failed mission. 
Thank God, that's a great one as well. Whenever you died in GTA, like these old games, when you died, it would teleport you to the hospital, and when you walked out of the hospital, there'd be a cab that would take you back to the place that would start the cutscene, which begins the freaking thing again. The fact that you can just instantly start a mission over, holy heck, that is a huge improvement. New Rockstar Games Social Club Accomplishments. Okay, so that's basically like their own style of achievements. In this is what I find funny. Enhanced visuals. Like, wait till we get to these enhanced visuals, bro. Enhanced visuals with improved graphics and fidelity across all three games. High resolution textures from characters, weapons, roads, great stuff. A completely rebuilt lighting system with enhanced shadows, reflections, and more. <laughs> improved water and weather effects. Enhanced detail in trees and foliage. Increased draw distance to provide a new level of depth. All right, pause. Here's what's up. This stuff seems pretty basic. All this stuff right here, these graphics, notice they're not talking about anything being completely redone. It sounds like they're doing a lot of stuff to make it where stuff just looks slightly better. So I have some nice comparison shots here. Let's take a look at some comparison shots. So this is what this looked like in the original version. Wow. Okay. Let's just face it. I'm not trying to be nice here. That kind of looks like dog poopy. I mean, I'm used to it because I've played these games, but poopy. it looks a little bit like dog poopy. Okay, so yeah, wow, the rails are rounded out. The the It looks like a different time of day. I don't know, man. That kind of looks like dog poopy. I mean, I'm used to it because I've played these games, but it looks a little bit like dog poopy. Okay, so yeah, wow, the rails are rounded out. The The signs are better looking. The cars look better. This still looks a little bit funky. Some of this stuff is still very PlayStation 2-ish, like the, the the windows on the... Everything is PlayStation 2-ish. <laughs> this looks fucking awful. This building are still very, very, uh, uh, a little bit archaic, but I mean, I'm willing to overlook that. But, okay, so let's see here. This is what I'm most curious about. GTA San Andreas, I, I always thought that GTA San Andreas had some of the worst character models. Like, these people have, like, straight lines on their elbows. This has some of the best voice acting of any of them, but it, it looks a little bit funky. Okay, let's see how this... Bam! All right, wow! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Bruh! I can't afford this shit! <laughs> Yo! It still looks janky as fuck. Like, they literally just filled in the colors. Like, bro, it's like they couldn't render it, so they just filled in the colors. Wow. Wow, that's actually really, 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 really good. Wow. All right, what do we got next? Okay. All right, Tommy driving his, or uh, uh, the freaking dude from GTA 3. God, it's too early. I need to have my coffee. But, sorry. Um... So here he is driving his car. Road looks like garbage. You can actually see like a crease in the street because this is just such a clunky polygon. All right, that looks much better. Now, to be fair, this is a different camera angle. They actually tilted it back so it looks better in general, but still, good looking rain, good looking water effects. I still think the character models look a little bit funky. A little bit funky? I mean, this one actually looks like they did something to it, but not really too much. Yeah, that uh, that still looks a little bit weird, but it's definitely an upgrade. I'm most eh. curious about the. I mean, it's like they can actually render the textures now instead of just being completely smooth. It's not really that great. Those gameplay updates. The fact that it's going to play better has been the thing I was wanting the most. Now. Yeah, bro, that hair is something else, man. It does have some plus platform-specific features, including 4K resolution, 60 frames a second if you're playing it. Bro, how the fuck is that shit not running 4K 120? On the PS5 or the Xbox Series X? Heck yes. Touchscreen zooming if you play it on Nintendo Switch. Also, gyro aiming. That's very weird. Bro, your fucking camera's covering the actual thing. All right. Let's take a look at the important... Yo, wait, hold on a second. Why the fuck is there DLSS support for PC, bro? 
any fucking GPU that has DLSS built into it does not need to fucking run this shit with DLSS turned on. These are literal PS2 games. Who the fuck is going to be using DLSS on fucking GTA 3? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Like, 0% fucking chance. Also, gyro aiming, that's very weird. All right, let's take a look at the important thing. Let's look at the price. All right, I'm literally clicking pre-order right now. All right, $60 on PC, $60 if you're playing it on the uh, uh, PS4. Xbox is just 60 bucks across the board, so I guess $60 no matter which system you buy it at. PlayStation 5 is blank. PlayStation 5 does not say the actual price. Huh. Nintendo Switch also doesn't say the actual price. So yeah, $60 on Nintendo Switch. Let me put in my uh, freaking birth date and let's see what... Uh, Let's see what it costs on PlayStation 5. $60 on PlayStation 5. Okay, so the rumors of it costing 70 bucks on next gen were thankfully incorrect. Thankfully, it looks like this is going to be $60 across the board. I mean, this to me seems cool. The fact that it is going to be a nice updated improvement of these classic games. It is still weird that they've decided to delist the original versions, but as it stands, this seems like a decent update. This seems like a good chance to play these games again. When I see screenshots like this, when I see screenshots like <laughs> Bro, it looks so bad. I'm sorry. Like this, I can't help but be ex Why do you want to play this? I'm excited because this is just such an iconic freaking game. Grand Theft Auto Vice City is such a freaking genre defying experience. The fact that this came out on the PlayStation 2, it was an entire freaking 80s city. All of it was fantastic. My only <laughs> final concern is uh, god i hope they got the music back like rockstar has a lot of money in their pockets they're very very deep and i think that's pretty cool but let's just face facts if they're trying to sell these games again and the fact that they're calling it a different product I'm bro he does look like he's from the fucking simpsons i'm kind of curious the legal ramifications of the soundtrack part of what made these games so fun is the fact that they had such a crazy mix of 80s and 90s music that we loved so much like it was almost a time capsule of the best tunes of their time period so if they suddenly aren't able to do that if they suddenly yeah bro they were good games back in like 2003 we live in 2021 now these are fucking dog shit games man have to take these are four dollar cell phone games at this point take some of these songs out because they'd be too expensive to pay the rights to have in their their game that would kind of suck i'm gonna be open-minded though i mean this is pretty great i guess it comes out here in three weeks i'm putting it on the to-do list i'm gonna be reviewing these games so please if you haven't already subscribe and i guess we're gonna be checking out some new adventures of tommy versetti very very soon Love you guys a bunch. Have a great morning. I know I'm going to. I gotta hop on the treadmill and do my miles. I'm pretty sure these literally are $4 cell phone games, by the way. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're pretty cheap on phones. You guys rock. Please do a gigantic favor and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see like, what I put Let's see the actual or, trailer. You know, Is there actually one? See what's coming up next. So GTA also, I promise that whatever trilogy. I do, it'll try not to suck. All right. Hopefully, I don't get a copyright claim in real time. Peggy, eighteen. Rockstar's really bad with copyright. Hello? I got a little job for you, pal. Like, bruh. I got a <laughs> Bruh. Y'all are really gonna tell me this looks good? Hell nah. A little job for you, pal. Like, this looks like fucking... It looks like one of those really shitty toy commercials. Or one of those really shitty YouTube animations that they make for kids. Like, oh my god. Me, they <laughs> <laughs> the biggest boy in
This looks like one of those really shitty, like, fucking animations you find on YouTube on, like, kids' channels with, like, fucking Spider-Man and Elsa. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. I'm glad to see things back the way they used to be. That actually, lo it looks like they actually did a lot more with GTA 3. GTA 3 looks like the only one they really put time into, but probably because that was the roughest one. I think it's pretty epic. It's in the news and is quick. I don't know. It's probably somebody getting shot, so probably not. Travis with the two, knowing Rockstar PC version won't work at launch. Most likely. Unfortunately, that is the case. And you, Generation with the two, I'm buying it. Fair enough, man. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Sam the Madman with the two, the mechanic looks like verminator who the fuck is that and not an Iowa the five this looks like a downgrade fortnite not gonna lie like these look like fucking plastic dolls i don't know <laughs> bro this should be a fucking meme like look at this shit bro look at these animations Look at this shit. I can't afford this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? We're doing frame by frame here. Plant Lord with the two San Andreas remasters day one game pass. That's good. You say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> like it almost looks worse. Jeez, haven't you ever seen a movie? You say it like it's a bad. Like this, it almost looks like the face loses detail. Like these actually look like faces, and then it goes to like a fucking plastic doll. Like, bro, what the fuck happened there? The original faces almost look better. They make everything look plastic. Yeah, I don't know, man. It looks like The Sims. It's almost like a downgrade in certain areas, I feel like. Everything looks plastic. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Like... They made all the colors super bright. Like, where were they showing that? Um, fuck. Right here. Like, see how everything looks kind of like it's layered, too? Like, there's shadows and stuff. Like, everything's just a fucking solid color. I don't know. Like, it just looks fake. Like, this almost looks more... Go back. Like, this almost looks more realistic. Right here. Like, what happened to this bush? It just fucking vanished, man. Like, this almost looks more real. I don't know, man. This looks like some fucking Lego Play City bullshit. I don't fucking know, man. Like, this almost looks more realistic to me than this. Out of fucking work to this one. This one they really upgraded. Like, this is completely different. Like, look at that shit. They really put in some work with this one. GTA 3, 100%, they actually did. Well, that ought to put the... Like, right here. But, like, look at his hair, bro. It literally looks like fucking plastic. And then, it, yeah, I don't... It looks like those really weird animation channels you see on YouTube. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Out in the chicken coop, huh? I don't know. I don't have any nostalgia for these games at all because I've never played them. Probably never will. So this doesn't really do anything for me.
Um, let's see. Sand the Mammoth with the two looks like a nineties animated film. Yeah, it does kind of. Yeah, it does have that vibe. Kind of like Toy Story. Yeah, you're right. Travis of the two looks like it's missing shadows, which removes depth. Yeah, it's like everything looks so flat and smooth and like solid color. I don't know. There's like no shading or anything. Really, It's just like a solid fucking color. Then that's it. And I review video games. I collect video games with the two Logan Paul versus Mike Tyson's actually. Ha oh, that'll be interesting as fuck, man. I'll pay for that one. I'll be a sucker and fucking pick that up for the pay-per-view. Karen Novell with the two. They got rid of the originals on Steam for this. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I think they're broken on Steam, though, because didn't they delist GTA 4 from Steam because it was so fucking broken and people just kept bitching about it, so they just pulled it? Because instead of, like, charging people money for a literally broken game, they were just like, eh, fuck it, we'll just remove it from the store. So I thought there was, like, issues with the old GTA games running on Steam. So that's probably why they did it. Now that there's, like, this new version out, there's not really a need for the old ones. So. I can kind of see why they did that. So somebody said Review Tech had a really bad take on this. So let's see. Why are people... Oh my god. Why are people complaining? I... Oh god. I don't get why people are complaining about this. Mm. What did you expect? It's a remaster. GTA 4 is not on Steam. Here, I'll show you. Unless they put it... Oh, they did put it back. Nice. All right, cool. They did put it back. Oh, wait, no. You can't buy it. Yeah, I thought they removed it. I'm not tripping. Yeah, you can't buy it. That's what I thought. Let's see. The complete edition? Oh, they did put it back. What the fuck? Damn. All right, they did put it back. When did they put it back? Okay, right here. That's when they did it. I remember like a couple years ago they delisted it. So yeah, they put it back up. Cool. Gotcha. Nah, they removed it at one point. I know for a fact. I remember reading the news article. GTA 4 delisted on Steam. I'm like 100% sure this fucking happened. Yeah, Rockstar removed GTA 4 from Steam on January 13th, 2020. Thank you. I didn't know they re-uploaded it, though. That's dope. Cool. I may pick this up, actually. I like GTA 4 a lot. It's probably the better of the two between 4 and 5. They removed music from it? Oh, shit. All right, cool. Well, that's good to know it's back. Mister, not a remake. Did you really think they were going to remake three open world games? Oh, stop. I mean, they're, they're PS2 games. News time. Skip it up and that up. So today it was just announced that the, I got <laughs> the name of this. I cannot get it right for the life of me. Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, is coming out for the PS5, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch, and PC on November 11th. And they had a trailer up on Rockstar's YouTube channel. And I, I don't really know what people are complaining about. I think people are misconstruing the difference between a remaster and a remake. 
totally different things. So Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, I just feel like they should have reworded the title <laughs> of this compilation. Bro, this looks this looks like such fucking dog shit. I'm sorry, like this looks so fucking bad. Almost soon with the two Vice City and San Andreas could have looked as good as four at least. Yeah, I agree. They could have put some more time in with this shit. Like this looks fucking awful. Relation better, but whatever. Like honestly, if they would have just done like a fucking GTA San Andreas remake. That would have been better. Like, I don't think many people give a fuck about Vice City and GTA 3 as much as San Andreas. Um, I review video games. I collect video games. The two fight is in January. I'll definitely be watching it. You generation of the five, I agree with Rich. Why did people expect Rockstar to do work? I mean, that is a fair point. You know, we really shouldn't expect Rockstar to actually do work. So, you might have a point there, sir. Travis of the two Midnight Club remaster win. Bro, Midnight Club was really fun. Midnight Club Las Vegas. Or not Las Vegas, Los Angeles. Fuck. Retard moment. But um yeah. I remember Midnight Club LA. It had that day and night song, which was pretty dope. They're gonna have actual and from what I saw in the trailer, it's actually more than I expected to a degree. Uh, this is a remaster, not a remake. And and that is why people think that up a video game is now considered a remaster. Or changing the texture quality is a remaster. No. A remaster is when you completely overhaul the look of that game, but you do not significantly change the actual content of it. That is a remaster. When it's the same game, but it looks and plays better. That's a remaster. Final Fantasy VII Remake is a remake because it is significantly different from the original. A remaster is the exact same fucking game. I don't know, man. This definition gets twisted all the time. Like, this is more of a port, if anything. They just up the lighting. I don't know, bro. Like, Demon Souls is not a remake. It's the same game. You fight the same bosses in the same order, with the same story, with the same weapons, in the same locations, same cutscenes, same dialogue. It's the same fucking game using modern hardware to give it modern graphics modern enhancements this they're taking the original game and putting a much prettier coat of paint on it that's a huge difference it, it's not the same when you see a remaster and a remake you have to understand the difference and i think a lot of you got to realize these games are old grand theft auto 3 came out in 2001 grand theft auto Ugh. That's a dark time for humanity. Vice City came out in 2002, and GTA San Andreas... Bro, imagine that. Rockstar releasing GTA games in the same... Bro, imagine that. Rockstar releases a GTA game every year instead of every fucking two decades. Wouldn't that be nice? This came out in 2004, and what I'm thinking... Holy shit, man. Three GTA games in the span of two years, or three years... Bro, we're going to be lucky to get two GTA games in the span of two decades. It's pretty crazy, right? Thinking is what's happening here is that, hell, if you were born in 2001, you're like 19, 20 years old right now, and you're not understanding what, to a degree, what a remake is. You're thinking that a remaster is similar to a remake. There's some of you, I was in my 20s, early 20s when these games came out some of you weren't even born yet and i i just think you don't get nah but re re2 remake literally changes the gameplay like completely like resident evil 2 remake or whatever the fuck it's called literally does not play anything like the original they completely redid that game from the ground up like, the camera perspective is not even similar. Like, they changed a lot.
that's closer to a remake than a remaster get it i'm actually impressed with what i saw and i think people are disappointed for the wrong reasons and honestly rgt85 on youtube said it best and this is what he had to say about people complaining about grand theft auto the trilogy the definitive edition I hate that name, but anyway, here's what RGT had to say. Lot of blank babies in the comments. I'm gonna guess that 70% of the cats bitching weren't even out of diapers when these games dropped. I agree. Haha, <laughs> boomer flex. I agree with that. This is for the OGs. Move along. And yeah, again, it, uh, okay, it's not gonna look as good as a modern AAA game, but the differences that I saw in the trailer, look again, were pretty incredible. Yeah, but by 2021 standards, they don't really look great. Especially for a company as big as Rockstar. And honestly, I kind of... I'm not a big GTA guy, but I'm definitely going to get this trilogy for the Switch. I think it'll be fun to play on the Switch. And even though What is different about Demon's Souls on PS5 versus PS3 other than the way it looks? Can you name one significant difference in Demon's Souls? other than the graphics between the PS3 version and the PS5 version because I don't think you can man it's the exact same game literally a carbon copy of it you know I'm not the hugest fan of Grand Theft Auto I I like what they did here they, they modernized it but they still kept that same aesthetic which is kind of like what was appealing about the Grand Theft Auto games so it's they updated the games while still allowing people who were young adults back then like me to still get that sense of nostalgia and for all the people who are just mostly familiar with gta 5 i got great news for you they're updating the controls to, for all the games to be like gta 5 they're also adding waypoints so it'll make it easier to navigate missions they're, they're giving it again they're called quality of life features to improve the game and make them more enjoyable so i'm all for this and again i'm not the big no demon souls is the truest form of what a remaster should be that is what people should want from a remaster of a video game. That is what you want from a game studio who claims to be doing a remaster on a video game. Something of the likes of Demon's Souls. That is a remaster. The other shit we get is fucking ports. Biggest GTA fan. Diablo 2 is a remake or remaster? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, like, identical to the original, right? So probably a remaster. Peaches of the Two, the original one, cannot run on PS5 SSD. I don't know, man. I think the PS5 SSD could finally crack the issue everyone's having with PS3 emulation. So the bottom line is I think people just don't understand what a remaster is or what a definitive edition is. And this... No, I think the problem is, is a lot of people have had their idea of what a remaster is shifted into what game companies want you to think it is, and that's very minimum changes. This is actually more than I expected from Rockstar. What they did with GTA 5 when they said it's coming to next-gen consoles, the when they showed a trailer for that, it was laughable, and I was like, give me a break, the game barely looks any different. This, though... This is actually more than I expected. So I'm excited to get this. I'm definitely going to get it on the Switch. And I'm hoping that it lives up to the hype. And I kind of think it will. And again, this is coming from someone who's not that big in the GTA. And I am excited for this. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Dave, name one significant difference in Demon's Souls on PS3 and PS5 other than the graphics. Name one thing. Name one thing. A story point, a boss, lore, level design, environments. Name one difference that is core to the experience of Demon Souls that is completely different from PS3 to PS5. It's the exact same fucking game. <laughs> like, literally the exact same fucking game. Like, load times, less clunky controls, higher frame rate. That's all what a remaster should be. 
because you're making the game better, but it's still the exact same fucking game. No, that's not a fucking remake. Okay, so fucking Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered was built on a different engine than what it was originally built on. That is not a fucking remake. That is a remaster. It's the same game. Just because you put it on the new engine does not make it a new game. It just makes it look better. That's like saying that Call of Duty 4 Remastered is a remake because they put it on a different version of the engine. Bullshit. If there is no significant change to the core gameplay experience, it is not a remake. Demon Souls on PS3 and PS5 are the same experience. The PS5 version is just polished more, which it fucking should be after 15 years. <laughs> like, we've come a long way. That's right, man. I'm changing lives. Like, stop accepting these shitty excuses from developers. A remake would be a completely different fucking game. If Demon Souls came out on PS5, it had completely different bosses, the environments were different, the design of the world was different, the story was different, that would be a remake. But nah. The same fucking game, just prettier, is a remaster, not a remake. Yeah, Fire Red and Leaf Green are remakes because they changed it. Same with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Those are remakes because they changed it. It's a different experience than the original. It draws inspiration from the original and has a lot of the same kind of, I guess, finer details to it, but it's new. There's a lot of stuff that was not. Yeah, the perfect example is Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII Remake is a remake. It is a completely different genre of game. It plays completely different. It looks completely fucking different. The story is different. So, I don't know. People just have low expectations of what a remaster is. Shadow of the Colossus is a remaster. It's the same fucking game. So, Sam the Madman with the 2, the PS5, SSD cured my bone cancer. Yo, I'm happy to hear about that, man. I can't afford this shit. And England, keep it real with the 179 Mario Party, got better remake than GTA. They're lazy. Yeah, well, I mean, it's Rockstar, bro. They put in zero effort 24-7. Plant Lord with the 2, is Modern Warfare 2019 a remake of COD 4? Eh, it's a reboot of the Modern Warfare series. So, no, it's not a remake. It's like a reboot, I'm pretty sure. That falls into a different kind of category. Alright, so the poll says y'all want to watch this fucking video, so we can do it. Um. I don't want to add to any memes, but all I can do is associate my experience with facts. Ah. Whenever you walk down certain hallways around the Nintendo booth, there <laughs> were smells that I could not associate with any Hear other part me. of the show. Uh, so FIFA 22 is a FIFA 21 remake? No, it's a sequel. And it was, it was, it came to the point where me, Simmons, and Jessica would avoid that place entirely, and we would go all the way around. There were some smells, yeah. And it, it was, was, yeah, the competitive, the and competitive I'm sure... standby line people, woo! Excuse me, sir. I hope my horrible smelly does won't be a distraction to you. Not at all, boy! <laughs> 
poor hygiene, and Smash players. These two things seem to go hand in hand within the Smash Brothers community. Whether it's players who reek of the most horrific scents, entire venues that should be quarantined for their toxic odors, or just sickening stories of the bizarre and Bro, if you think about it, Madden 22 is a prequel to Madden 25, which, just a fun fact, Madden 25 is actually a fucking thing. And gro And no, we're not in 2025 yet. Most acts done by players. There's been a stigma circulating around about smelly Smash players and how commonplace they are. I'm going to be breaking down many of the most repulsive instances involving these unwashed Smash players, ranging from big events and star players to specific stories told by members of the community themselves. And before I continue, I just want to say I'm a fan of the Smash community. I'm in many ways in it. I'm friends with many players. Do nah, bro, I can't turn off the video. Y'all wanted to watch it, so... Don't take what I'm saying too personally, but seriously, some of you need to take a shower. First, let me set the scene for how Smash tournaments generally work. On the smallest level, there's usually a local scene in most major cities or regions. The next level above that are large tournaments, specifically held for Smash, like Apex and Genesis. And above that, you have large international events that host a variety of games, including Smash Brothers. These are events like DreamHack, GamesCon, and EVO. All of these events are attended by... Nope, not EVO. Nintendo bans Smash from EVO. Unfortunate, man. Serious competitors, casuals, and spectators alike. In dissecting the disgusting plague of foul odors within the community, let's start with some of the major events and the stories that have come out of those. Rubber Ninja of Game Grumps made a comment on r slash gaming talking about his experience. When I was visiting America, I got dragged along to one of the big Smash Brothers tournaments being held in Northern California. Oh my god, everyone there smelled so bad. Every day. I don't get why Nintendo hates competitive Smash. Didn't it come out that like almost every single pro Smash player was a fucking pedophile? Like literally one of the dudes who won like the world championship for Smash. Didn't it come out that he was like grooming kids? The fucking Zero guy? Like I'm pretty sure like Nintendo hates competitive Smash because it, one, it has the reputation of people not fucking bathing. And two, like all the fucking major Smash pros got exposed all at once as being a bunch of fucking pedophiles. So that's not really great for a family-friendly brand like Nintendo. Day they rocked up to the tournament in the same clothes. In fact, the entire room just stank like hell. Going out to stand by the people smoking was like getting fresh air in comparison. Another tale from Reddit comes from a post titled, I'm at my first tournament. Why don't people shower? I was standing next to a guy who smells like a rancid piece of ham. Edit. Faced a little girl. Feel guilty for winning. The situation is so bad that there have even been attempts to create hygiene guides and instructions for players who apparently don't know the basics of self-care, like this Reddit post giving out hygiene tips, and this tweet from Melee Player Tafo where he says, Going to be writing a Summer of Smash mini guide for all of you that are interested in traveling. Hashtag deodorant. Venues used for Smash have become notorious for their foul smell. One tournament organizer from Tallahassee, Florida, issued this statement to attendees at his local scene. At the price of losing a bi-weekly tournament, we cannot afford to have the place smelling terribly as it has been. Being labeled by some to be stinky day when tournament day comes around. You know those Florida players are going to have a special kind of musky scent to them with all that Florida swamp ass. Some tournament organizers have even taken matters into their own hands, like this guy from NorCal who made a post on Smashboard stating, I'm implementing a professional rule, which states, in short, I have the right to DQ you if it's clear that you are not keeping up with your hygiene. I suggest other tournament organizers do the same. And immediately, the original poster was met with criticism. Yup, big f you to people who can't afford everyday showers. Oh my god. This is this is literally what I picture the average Nintendo fanboy. Like I don't know if it's just me, has anyone else noticed? Like people who were like really obsessed with only playing Nintendo games. Like they are the brokest motherfuckers on planet Earth. Is it just me who's noticed this? 
Like seriously, this is like I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but has anyone else noticed this trend that people who like literally only play Nintendo games, they are literally broke as fuck because they spend all their money on fucking Amiibos and sixty dollars Switch games. I don't know, man. Like, it's always been something I've noticed. Like, bro, a lot of these motherfuckers, like that Harmon Smith dude, the Nintendo fanboy, bro, he literally lives in a fucking garage. Like, that's what I mean. I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to be mean about it, but I've noticed it. Like, out of any other group of, like, fanboys or whatever, they just always seem to be broke as shit. So let's see. Travis with the two. Every time I change settings on PC, it's a remaster. Facts, bro. You know, you changed the FOV slider. Remastered. Torbulus with the five. They're broke because they let Nintendo milk them for everything they've got. That's what I mean, bro. They, like, consume. They buy every single $60 Nintendo first-party game. They buy, like, little fucking Nintendo plushies, the Amiibos. Like, it's weird, bro. And then they're just, like, flat, bro. Like, ooh, guess I'm having half a ramen packet tonight. But at least I can play competitive Smash. Like, what the fuck, bro? I don't know. They are definitely the consumers of the gaming world. L Dragon Loza with the two. Konami made rules as well for players. Stink. Yeah, bro, that shit's fucking disgusting. Like, you're subhuman if you don't fucking shower to get the competitive advantage in a fucking kids' fighting game. One of the major Smash Brothers events, Big House 4, actually added in their official rules that entrants must take a shower. Our event security includes a bouncer at the door who won't hesitate to refuse entry to anyone who has a personal hygiene issue. This isn't a joke. And finally, a friend of mine and Smash player Bear shared with me his personal story of putrid smells at one of these events. Yeah, so a couple months ago, I went to an event called DreamHack Atlanta. Bruh, Pokemon, this is the difference, man, all right? I may be a Pokemon fanboy, but most motherfuckers who collect Pokemon cards are loaded because our cards are actually worth money. You see? We got the stonk energy. It's like the Chad Pokemon fans versus the virgin Nintendo Coomsumers. It was a really, really big convention center. And eventually, I made my way over to the Smash area because I really like to watch Melee. Well, inside the event, they were they were cooking like hot dogs and burgers. It was pretty smoky in a lot of areas. So eventually, I started walking up to Smash, and the smoke was immediately being replaced by this new, just rancid smell. And it was very just disgusting. And like, it's indescribable how bad it really smelled. And it was just so disgusting. And I eventually just left and never went back to that corner. But I was just amazed by how bad one section can smell just by the Smash community. Going deeper than these general events, these next stories and incidents come from specific cases involving individual players. Smash Ultimate seems to have brought upon a new breed of gross gamers. At an event hosted by Collegiate Star League, a K rule main of all things, way to give us a bad name, was seen drinking some unidentified fluid directly out of an Elmer's glue bottle. But bruh. Sometimes things go even beyond the lack of personal hygiene. In some instances, there are players who lack basic potty training. What? There are players who lack basic potty training. A smasher actually sh He shit his- what the fuck? Shit their pants mid-set at the monthly last night. In utter disbelief. Money! What the fuck, bro? I can't Yo, the only set. time in like the past 10 years I've ever set. shit myself I is when I risked it on a set. fucking sushi fart, okay? It was pretty bad. Like, my stomach was fucked up. I literally was on the way to the fucking bathroom, and I ripped one, one fart that should not have been ripped, alright? And, yeah. I'll admit it, man. 
That's the last time. That was like seven or eight years ago. But like, imagine just sitting there shitting yourself while playing Smash. Yeah, I got food poisoning from it too. Like, I literally was to, dude, I was on the fucking toilet the rest of that night. I can't afford this shit. I got um, I got food poisoning from it, which is unfortunate. Typically, when I eat sushi, I don't have a problem, but I ate some like bad fish or whatever. I don't know. That whole fucking night, man, it was like a waterfall effect. So let's see. Where are we? So Malcolm Flex with the five. Mainly game and Xbox, but I honestly think Xbox gamers are the brokest, especially the YouTubers. Fair enough, man. I don't know. I've just seen more people talk about, like, I don't have money for this in the Nintendo community. That's kind of the thing I've seen, like... Not everyone has $10. Like, I've seen a lot of those type of comments from people in, like, the Nintendo fan base, I guess you could say. Um, Oski Wasi with the two. I see Nintendo and Pokemon as two separate fandoms. Well, I mean, technically, the Pokemon company is a separate entity from Nintendo. Nintendo only er owns one third of the Pokemon company. So, technically, Pokemon and Nintendo are completely separate. <clears throat> and you generation with the two new CSGO major stickers are dope. I have not seen them. I don't know. I've never used a sticker in CSGO. And Sam the Madman with the five. There's a reason the soy boy stereotype is associated with Nintendo merchandise. Oh, definitely, man. If you see a Legend of Zelda Triforce t-shirt, you know. You know exactly what to expect. Rackenzie with the two listening to this, like, so wait, I'm not a loser? Basically, man. Basically. And Brit with the five, you should go there. You should sell lots of pokey cards. Bro, I want to go to, like, a card convention at some point. I don't know when the fuck I will be able to, but I would definitely like to at some point. Excuse me? What the f***? Did they keep playing through it? Yeah, played through it. Won the set. Left after. I didn't go, but everyone said that the venue reeked like shit. The smelly situation has gotten to a point where even the upper echelon of the Smash community, the pro players, the community organizers, even they are unable to ignore how out of hand and incidentally out of deodorant these players apparently are. Evo champion and prominent melee player Leffen even had some concerns about the lack of deodorant in Smash tournaments. Damn, this anime con slash Smash tournament is in desperate need of a deodorant sponsor, haha. <laughs> Interestingly, there even seems to be some debate within the Smash community regarding how much people should be expected to shower. Pro Smasher Anti tweeted out that showering every other day isn't normal. Instead, people should do it every single day but super smash shirts challenged this claim stating that actually sh oh my god dude imagine not showering every day that's fucking disgusting like that is actually fucking gross especially if you're going out in public showering every day is bad for you somehow and quite frankly this makes me call into question the cleanliness of the shirts they are selling but even if players manage to shower, it's not always enough. Smash commentator Kataro points out how smelly clothes and, once again, the lack of deodorant, still causes foul odors. Streamer Dominic B tweeted, For Smash Bros. Melee Evo Finals, they should just have a judge smell the top player to see who actually took a shower and wore deodorant. Please, pack deodorant! Yo has learned every f***ing true combo except one of the most important ones. Soap combos! Directly into water to stock your odor. <laughs> Yo is sitting here worrying about character tears when your hygiene is bottom tier. Clean yourself, wash your nuts, deodorant. Is anyone else sensing a theme here? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That dude? Yo, this man has good taste in music. Is anyone else sensing a theme here? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That dude? I'm so <laughs> Smashers, dude. We're having way Come too much on, fun Chet. right now. I reached out to former Melee streamer and semi-pro player Coffee Black, who shared with me his haunting experience at a local Smash tournament. The worst story. Did they tell him to shower? 
story I have of a Smelly Smasher is from a weekly a few years ago. So I was the first one there, and it was in the basement of a bar, which was a pretty big room. As people started to come in, I noticed that it started to really fucking smell in that place. And everybody that I was chilling with that was coming in also was like, man, what's the fucking smell? It smells like fish. And so at first, I didn't even think it was coming off a person because that place used to uh, leave the food on the counter. So like if I ordered uh, fish and chips, they would leave it at the bar until I went to go get it. Let's say I was playing a tournament match. I can't get it right away. So I figured like there's fish lying around or it's in the garbage or something rotting overnight. But it was so strong that I had to look around. And when I looked around, my other friend was looking with me and he actually made a lap around the room and found the source from a person. And Bruh, if showering every day gives you bad skin, then buy some fucking lotion. That's nasty if you don't take a shower every day. By this point in the tournament, it's about halfway through, people are complaining that it fucking smells. People are not going to that side of the room to play friendlies. People are not happy. And even the staff is complaining that it smells to the TO. And so the TO takes the guy aside who we we found, we pinpointed, and pulls him and says, like, you know, you have to take a shower, you have to leave, people are complaining. And the kid looks super embarrassed, and it was, the TO handled it well, but it was pretty sad, you know, because this guy came with a bunch of friends and like it's like no one's ever told him that he smells this bad that i can smell it from across a big room looking deeper into this perhaps the reason smash players have a reputation for being so foul is that just like their gameplay they're simply following in the footsteps of some of the greatest and most idolized players to ever touch the game or touch kids in the case of smash um, let's see. You generation with the two. Your favorite song is so. Wait, Psycho Social, right? Yeah, maybe if I was an emo piece of shit, but nah. The massive unit you see in front of you is Mango. Working his way to the top of most tournaments and rivaling the best to ever play. Mango dedicates himself to Smash, so much so that the moisture content in his hair rivals that of an Amazon rainforest. Speaking of nature, he is often seen in his wild habitat gorging on some sort of fat-filled, calorically dense feast, followed by a beer or four. However, according to an anonymous tip, Mango amazingly does not have any foul odor emanating from his body at tournaments. Therefore, Mango is merely known as the Beast or his unkempt and messy menagerie of manliness. Gushing out of every pore of this man's face paints a picture. A picture of one of the most sweaty Smash players of all time. His name is Hax. His game is Wax. Some Smash theorists believe the sheer amount of calories burned from the cognitive demands of spamming a bunch of stupid fucking buttons every match leads to the immense deluge of sweat that comes out of every pore. Therefore, Hax is known as the Geyser. Picture a local Smash tournament. Now picture it filled with naked Instagram models all crowding around one. Eagles fans never bathe? Yeah, look at EDP, bro. Player. That player is Mewtwo King. Known for regularly having obscene s at Smash tournaments. Even while playing, Mewtwo King does not give a f what anyone around him thinks or how gross it can be to see this level of s intercourse. Nobody wants to hear the loud moans and smell of all that sweat in the air. For this reason, he is known as Mewtwo King, loves to f It's hard to say exactly why Smash players smell so bad. Perhaps the focus required to play the game creates a sweaty situation. Maybe Smash fans love the game so much that they don't have time to focus on their personal hygiene, instead solely dedicating their lives to their craft. But one thing I have learned in life is that you can either be a sweaty Smash player or a person who knows how to use a f stick of deodorant. It's one dollar. Come on, any f store. Editor's note. In lieu of recent events during Pound 2019, my deepest condolences go out to Hungrybox, who was viciously attacked by a lifeless crab thrown onto the stage by an attendee. A deeper question arises here that I'd like to pose to you, the viewer. How is it, you think, that this large, dead crab was hanging in a man's pocket, presumably for hours in preparation for this targeted harassment, and yet, 
the salty stench of this dead crab was able to go undetected. How is it that such a pungent smell was able to be masked so well? One might even go as far as to say the poor hygiene within the Smash community was a major factor in allowing this perpetrator to get away with the crab incident. Yeah, bro, that's a waste of a good crab. Yes, I did it! I'm the best Smash player in the world! <laughs> Who threw this at me? Giant enemy crab. Giant enemy. Oh, I remember this fucking clip. This dude freaked the fuck out. Like, he acted like a little pussy, bro. Hold up. Um. Throws crab. Smash. Like, this dude freaked the fuck out, bro. Like, he acted like such a fucking pussy. I remember this. Look how fucking pissy he gets, man. Fucking hit him, bro. You know how hard I work on you. <laughs> you know how hard I work. What a fucking pussy, bro. You played a fucking video game. Shut the fuck up. So Z here with the three. This is why I don't play Smash. Also High Gravel. What's up, man? I mean, you can play Smash and have fun with it. Just don't take it this fucking serious. And Z here began with the three. That man needs to touch some grass. Indeed, man. Please touch some grass. And Travis with the two worst smell is water mix burnt transaxle fluid. What the fuck? I have no idea what that smells like, and I think I don't want to. And Blitzkrieg Boy with the two, that poor crab. I know, man. It's a waste of a good crab. Could have made a crab cake or some shit out of it. And Torbulus with the five. You know how hard I worked. <laughs> you played a fucking video game, you fucking loser. Like, jeez, I don't know, man. Like, bro, you played a kid's fighting game. Congratulations, dude. You're such a fucking important motherfucker. Dear God, this shit's sad, bro. Peaches of the two, I would throw a giant roach. Dude, those hissing cockroaches are pretty cool, actually. I've held one before. They're pretty dope. Fuck you, man. But dude, he literally gets so fucking upset over a damn crab. It actually phased him. When H-Box loses, he gives the victor a hug. The crowd cheers. When H-Box wins, he gets booed and slapped with a Krabby Patty. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, my God. Like, that just shows you what a bitch these motherfuckers are. It's acting like somebody threw a knife. I know, but it's a fucking crab. Like, at worst, it would have been like, oh, shit, bro, something hit me. Like, it wouldn't even hurt. 
I don't fucking know, man. Motherfuckers are sensitive. Very sensitive. Sam the Madman with the two. Most Smash players never felt the touch of a woman. That's right, man. Emphasis on the woman. Some of them have tried to feel the touch of a girl. If you catch what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, the woman distinction there is very important. DSP? What has DSP done? I mean, we can see if DSP has done anything. Hold up. Offering rewards after scam. Stop talking about wings. Can low full day of low contributions. Fifty and fifty. I'll never leave. Comments enabled. The fuck? He brought a girl to his streams. The fuck? When did this happen? <sighs> fuck. Damn, bro. Super crazy. All right. Let's see. Um. Oh, yeah. That's old as shit, man. That's his wife. That's old. That's really old. That's like years old at this point, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to... Dude, I literally have a 16-ounce Red Bull that I've been drinking this whole fucking time, man. If you choose anything DSP, choose Mr. Huth stuff. All right, let's look that up. Fuck, why didn't it paste? There we go. GTA remaster saving the business. So there is a lot. All right, let's see. Pay our bills. Let's see. Now, folks, I have to appeal to you tonight. We have a small audience tonight. I know we will have a small audience for Lost Judgment. We've always had a small audience when I've played Yakuza and Judgment Game. Okay? There's like almost no one talking in the chat. We got people talking about sports and stuff, which has nothing to do with my streams. You know, <laughs> ridiculous, okay? Tonight, if you're here to relax and have fun with me, please interact with the chat. That's the first thing I got to ask. Please talk to me, all right? Let's have a chill time together. It's not about just focusing on the game when I play. Bro, is he really asking people to fucking talk to him? This shit's sad, man. Ladies, especially when I was doing side content. It's more about having fun conversation while we're balancing all of the fun gameplay of the game. That's number one. Number two, I really got to appeal to you guys for support tonight when it comes to the stream itself. Earlier today was a very slow stream for any kind of support, okay? I currently... <laughs> you guys got to pay up more, bro. Dude, it's always a fucking tragedy with DSP, though. I don't know, man. I'm just being very transparent with you guys. I need to pay two large bills over the course of the weekend. Technically, they should have been due today, but because it's the weekend, they don't clear till Monday. So I basically... <laughs> He's got those bills due, bro. Definitely not the new WWE roles coming out. Definitely not that, bro. Dude, DSP is way more expensive than $10 an hour. Wings is cheap by comparison. Like, bro, Wings is only demanding $10 an hour. DSP demands, like, 75 an hour. This motherfucker is no cheap date. That's for fucking sure. Basically have till Monday to clear enough, or may raise enough money to pay a couple of big bills, including my internet bill and the dues here on my house. Okay? So, please, if you like the stream tonight, tip. All right? I know some people say, oh, I prefer please tip. I prefer Super Chats and Super Stickers. Listen, I understand that. And if that's the only way you, you can contribute and you're going to contribute tonight, then if you got to do that, go right ahead. But please, if you... That's right, guys. Remember. That's not begging. That's advertisement. If you can, please tip me. All right? I really need the help today, tomorrow, and into Monday to pay these bills. Please, guys. I need that help to pay my bills. All right? 
And then on top of that, my my day off is Wednesday. And oh my god, his day is off Wednesday. I need to have funds to actually have a day off on Wednesday. Go group. <laughs> That's right, man. He needs money yeah. so he can have his day off, guys. That Jen and WWE yeah. champions isn't gonna pay for itself. I'm gonna like, and really, tips are all I get right now. Seriously, like, because of all that crap that happened to me last month with the identity theft and having to spend all this extra money on late fees and a lawyer and all this crap to handle shit. I really am strapped right now to the point where it's like, damn, you know, I'm, I'm penny for penny. So <laughs> He's penny for penny, guys. Those $6,000 worth of WWE rolls a month. But he's penny to penny, guys. He is truly suffering right now. He makes ten grand a month, but he's living paycheck to paycheck. Goro Kurakai with the five you should see when people throw things at LES Claypool during Primus concert. He stops playing, then calmly roasts the ever-living fuck out of him. Yeah, I don't know, man. Any dude that cries because somebody throws a fucking crab on the stage is... I don't know. I don't fucking know, bro. Motherfuckers are just soft. And Sampa CXC with the two, work kicked my ass today. I need Jesus. All right, man. Tell me if you know someone that needs Jesus. And Sam, the madman with the two, DSP literally invented Greek tragedies. I know, man. This is like the most tragic tale in all of mankind. The tragedy of Dark Side Phil. I can't this shit. Osborne Mangekia with a two. Why this dummy always has to pay his bills on the weekend? Because, bro, he wants to enjoy his day off. That's what it comes down to. He just wants money to go fuck around with when he gets his day off. Which I don't blame him, bro. It's nice to go out and spend money and have fun, but... You know, 10k a month is not enough for DSP. Malcolm Flex with the two. Wow, this dude is absolutely shameless. That's right, man. Remember. That's not begging. That's advertisement. So, ooh, if you could help me out tonight with tips, please do. I'm not saying go beyond your means. I'm not saying it's mandatory. I'm saying if you were already going to contribute to the stream and you have the option, please tip me tonight. It's not mandatory, but I'll keep bugging you until you do it because you know what? That's not begging. That's advertisement. I, I really do need the help right now, okay? Fair enough. Okay. Hopskinville Goblin, what the fuck are you talking about? No, really. He goes, oh, I'll be weird with that. D PayPal deets are leaked. What the fuck are you talking about? No, no PayPal deets are leaked. <laughs> PayPal deets leak. There's no deets of any PayPal. What the fuck? I'm so tired of people coming on here and talking nonsense and bullshit. I really am at this point. Like, I'm furious. People are going to come on here and say stupid shit like that. No. No, no, there's no deets of anything leaked anywhere. You're full of shit. Stop talking gar garbage in my fucking chat and trying to get people to, n to not uh, contribute. I've had enough of your shit, okay? So that Oh, he's had enough, guys. That's enough of your shit. In fact, you know what? Just because you fucking said that, you're out of here. Oh, shit. I'm not putting up with, with slander and bullshit. I'm just not, okay? You're in here trying to fucking scare people and shit. Fuck off. There's a difference between, okay, I'm a little scared because of what happened with Twitch, and, oh, PayPal deets have, no, nothing leaked, you fucking asshole. Shut up. Seriously, it pisses me off. You got like, fucking trolls in here and shit. Okay. So, no, no PayPal deets leaked. No, if you contribute, you're fine. There's no information leaking or anything. People are so full of fucking shit. <laughs> really? They're such assholes. Okay, guys, so. Hopefully, you guys will have a good time with me tonight. We're about to get started in just a moment. So two hours of Lost Judgment here tonight should be a good time, okay? Um, FedEx Frank, the reason that I don't like people talking sports on my streams is very simple. I'm not a sports guy. I never have been. I mean, the last time I was actually actively into sports was like the mid-2000s when I followed the uh, American... He doesn't want people talking about sports in his chat because he doesn't like sports. And he wonders why people don't want to fucking donate to him. Like, he's literally telling people, don't talk about what you want to talk about because I don't personally care about it. Like, what the fuck, bro? What is wrong with people talking about sports in your chat? Like, does he feel left out? Like, he's not included? Is he insecure about it? Like, what the fuck, man? Football. 
if you start talking about sports in my stream and you overcome the chat, what am I supposed to talk about? I don't know about sports. I'm not following sports. I'm not playing a sports game. So why would you bring up sports in my chat? Because the vast majority of the human population enjoys sports. It's That's completely derailing a fucking video game chat. It's not derailing a chat, bro. The point of a chat is to chat. You don't get to pick the topic about what, what people talk about in a chat. If you want to go talk about sports, go to a sports chat. Or a sp Well, I mean, he's openly telling people not to come to his fucking streams, man. Now he's bitching about low viewership. So, I don't know, man. DSP, I think you should keep that same energy. For a, a strat where people talk about sports constantly and the, the person you know streaming knows about it i don't okay i can't turn the volume up it's all the way up ah okay trivial comment you're banned <laughs> goodbye enough of these fucking trolls they're already coming in here with stupid shit get the fuck out okay no headphones tonight i've been wearing headphones quite a lot with all the new releases so I'm just going to have the headphones down on the, uh, the table next to me here. But yeah, I think the next video is him bitching about not getting views. I guarantee you, those videos will have more views than anything. Easy Nimbles of the two, what I missed since the stream started. We watched some shit on Smash Players and then the GTA Remastered stuff. Not really too much, in all honesty. It's kind of a slow day. There really wasn't much going on on YouTube. Go toe with the five. Let's go 49ers, my favorite hockey team. Yeah, go sports ball, bro. Like, that's the thing is I don't really give a fuck about sports, but if somebody wants to ask me about sports or some shit, you know, I'm not going to be a fucking dick about it and tell them to leave my fucking chat immediately. Like, bro, I don't know shit about sports. I'll be the first to fucking admit it. I don't watch any sports, but... If somebody brings it up in the chat, I'm not going to act like a massive fucking man-child and be like, Get the fuck out of here, dude. You're derailing the chat. Fuck you. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Thing I've done in, like, the last six months. Probably the only other stuff this year that'll beat that is, like, Resident Evil 8. GTA brings the butts to seats. And you will join me starting on November 11th for that trilogy. And, uh, again, the buy-in here is that, oh, I 100% I, I want you to play these games with the music on, but I will support the playthrough. Please do. The news we're talking about, the Grand Theft Auto trilogy is real, which we already knew, but it actually is coming out on November 11th. Oh my God. I did not, I just said as much the last couple days, I didn't believe it. I thought that this was not happening. I was like, how could this be such a best kept secret that we didn't know anything about it and saw no gameplay and nothing of this, and this is coming out in two weeks. Well, fuck me. It's coming out on November 11th. I, you know, apparently Rockstar did it again. They kept it, you know, they kept it under wraps. They didn't leak any information about it. Then now, today, the first gameplay was shown. And, I'll, all right, here's the thing. I think some people were, were having these insanely lofty, ridiculous expectations. Do I even want the classic GTA trilogy to look like modern GTA? Probably not. It has its own charm, its own appeal. You know what I mean? Now... Certainly, I don't want it to look exactly the same as the old games either. Tubs of the five, so I finally ordered a 3090 scalped, so I won't have to look for another GPU for the next 10 years. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Enjoy that BF GPU, my friend. Welcome to the 3090 gang. Those games look like shit, okay? But what they did is they basically upscaled the graphics to look better. They're still cartoony. The character models are still kind of cartoony, but you've got lighting effects now. Yeah, they exist. You've got 60 frames per second. Thank God, you know? And they also announced that there will be refined controls that are improved. Thank God, because those games, the controls are incredibly outdated. And weather effects are now added to the game in places where they weren't or they look much better. It's the modernized weather effects and stuff. So basically, the games are going to play more like modernized All right, have a good night. and look decent. They're not going to look like GTA 5, but they'll look... Z here with the three Roman sports, greater than modern sports. I agree, man. We need to bring back the fucking gladiators. Decent. That's good. This is good news. I'm pleased with this news. This is like, let's take GTA for into the modern era so that another generation can appreciate this trilogy of games that maybe never played them because who the hell wants to play these incredibly outdated games, right? 
When you got people who played GTA 5 17 times, plus GTA Online constantly in the last decade, they want more of that. They don't want to go back to something that looks like duty and run and plays terribly. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm glad to hear all of it. However, there's still questions, right? They didn't, they certainly, it was only like a minute teaser slash announcement video that they put out today. We still have major questions that need to be answered. Like, uh, are they going to improve? Nobody donated, guys. Zero out of 50. I know. Does anyone know? Necro, I don't know if you know the reason, but why did he lower his tip skull? Is it because he's been getting more super chats recently or what? What made him lower the tip skull? That's surprising, man. I would think that motherfucker would still be as high as possible. Pothead Investor with the two. What the fuck, that hairline? I don't know, man. DSP is a thing of beauty. And Sam the Madman with the two make our politicians fight each other, lol. Or the pedos, man. It's tiered? Okay, so it... So when he hits 50, he changes it to 100. Then when it hits 100, he changes it to 150. Got it. Oh my god. He's adding more interaction to the stream. The systems in the game, like for example, the save system in the earlier games was terrible. The save system doesn't auto save. You have to keep going back to a garage to save. Or excuse me. Yeah, your your own garage to save the game. That's actually one of the reasons why the earlier games are so tedious and annoying. There's no auto save. Did they implement an auto save system? So you beat a, a mission, it saves it for you, and you can auto resume later rather than have to fucking drive around wasting time backtracking to save between every mission because God forbid you die now you got to do two three missions over. Right? That's it. Really sucks. I hope that they're gonna. Uh, improve that but in addition um i definitely feel that they need to have the music in the game like i have a strong feeling that if you're gonna really put the quality in there of, of the original gaming experience the music of gta was a major part of that and it's not gonna be in there so htm 101 with the two my credit card limit just went up and refunded my 200 nice man easy clap bro Torvulus with the five. Appreciate it, man. Would have happily bought the GTA trilogy if Rockstar didn't go after all those mods. Can't stand large businesses taking advantage of their power. Yeah, I don't really know why companies give a fuck that people mod their games. Like, as long as you're not cheating in the online portion, I don't really know why the fuck it matters, especially in single player. Blitzkrieg Boy with the five finally ordered a Series S because my Halo Edition Xbox One is dying. And not running games as good as before and is basically struggling. R.I.P. the homie. You know what? It had a good run, man. Like, what? Six years old? It's pretty damn good for a console, in all honesty. I mean, you'll get a pretty nice upgrade with the Series S, so... At least there's something to be excited about. Admittedly, when I played the original playthroughs of those games, what was it, 2012? The music was a huge part of the playthroughs. And then when I went back and replayed them later on HD versions and I couldn't use the music for fear that YouTube was going to shut me down. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like tip skulls and everything are just really fucking tacky. Like if anything, I feel like it discouraged people from donating. Now, it was actually a major detriment. Now, I not to say that those weren't fun playthroughs. They absolutely were fun to play through again with without the music regardless, but still um it's kind of like at this point of my content creation career I don't really care anymore about getting videos claimed for music. And admittedly, the good thing about it now is YouTube isn't stupid about it. For example, right now I'm playing Alan Wake Remastered. All the music in that game is licensed music, and every video is getting claimed, but it's just getting claimed. The videos aren't getting blocked. The videos, I'm not getting copyright strikes. The videos are just getting claimed, and someone else is making the ad revenue on them. I'm okay with that. At least I'm preserving the integrity of the playthrough by having the music in there. And people who like that playthrough are contributing via other methods so that it still makes sense for me. To I'm subbed to someone who wants to use the donation money to buy a new car and he has an Audi. Hey, man, he's got good taste. I wouldn't mind having an Audi. They're pretty nice. I saw an, how do you say it? Is it Audi, Audi, like which one is it? But anyway, I saw an Audi SUV that I really liked, but I'm not buying it. I got to save up that money in case the, um housing market crashes and I can pick up some shit on foreclosure. That's what I'm stockpiling cash for right now. Game in that method. You see what I'm saying? It's Audi? Like Audi? Yeah, that's what I thought. Audi. Not Audi. 
Audi. Sorry, man. Allen is back. Dreamcast guy and DSP should get together. Play Allen Wake together on stream. That'd be a legendary combo. Yeah, Audi. Okay. Audi. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having an Audi, but I don't know. I got other priorities at the moment. Plus cars, once you buy them, they just drop in value immediately. So it's kind of fucking depressing. Saying, um, the reason that I was so nervous about playing GTA with the music years ago was because YouTube wasn't like that, and they were still taking down videos, claiming videos, blocking, muting videos. So hopefully, all right, hopefully. What will happen is I will play these games with all the... Let's creep boy with the two. You still getting that electric truck. You talking... Nah, I have nowhere to charge it, so... Probably not. I may buy it and then just flip it because I have a huge discount on the autopilot module, so I've already made like three grand off of that. Plus, I'm early on in the queue, so... I may just buy it and see if somebody wants to buy it off of me immediately, and I'll just sell it to them and maybe make a couple thousand bucks off the transaction. But I mean, I don't have anywhere to charge it, so it's not really practical. All the music in them. Hopefully, they have the music in them, because that's what they haven't confirmed yet. Is all the music in them? Did they renew all the licensing rights to these amazing period songs? You know what I'm saying? Like when you play GTA 3 or GTA uh, San Andreas or Vice City, they all have music from that time period where the game takes place, and that's why it feels so amazing to play those games with that music in it. I hope they keep all the music, and if they needed to, they renewed the licenses. Because let me tell you guys, they're charging 60 bucks for this trilogy. So it better have the what you, you're expecting. You know what I mean? Like, it better have the music. <clears throat> the crow outside agrees. Did you hear him? The crow outside's like, man, it better have that fucking music. <laughs> so, hopefully. I fucking laugh, dude. Hopefully. If I read... Wait, so Griffin, if you read this, you're gay? Oh, shit. It will have all the music. It'll be great, okay? I am very much looking forward to this. Uh, by the way, so the full news announcement, the full trilogy is coming out on November 11th for, like, every console. It's, like, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, PC. I don't think it's on Switch. I just think it's those 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 uh, platforms. Um, $60, supposedly, for the trilogy. I don't think it's 70 I think they said it's $60 for the trilogy. And... If you are playing on Xbox and have Game Pass, San Andreas is included under Game Pass, but only San Andreas, okay? You'd still have to buy the other two games, I guess, piecemeal. I don't know if they'll be available separately or if you have to buy them together as a collection. If you have PS Now, for the 10 people who have it, um, <laughs> apparently Grand Theft Auto 3 will be available on PS Now on December 7th. So whether you have an Xbox console and Game Pass or a PlayStation console and PS Now, you'll be getting a free game from this collection no matter what. I think this is a very smart strategy, okay? And the reason I think this is a smart strategy is I feel what's going to happen is people are going to play the free game, even if they didn't buy the trilogy and had no interest in it. They're going to play the free one and say, oh, shit, this is pretty good. Hear everyone else talking about how they're playing them all, and then they're going to want to buy the rest of them, you see? So I think this is, like, one of the best ways to tackle this marketing um of the game i think it was it was uh done well that they're going to be giving out those free versions so for me yeah they're not fucking free dumbass you're still paying for the subscription here's the deal like i'm not even kidding or it is on switch okay i'm being told it is on switch as well wow well i don't know how it's going to perform on switch i'll tell you i'm pretty bad playing i'll be playing it on xbox series x um and here's the deal November literally just went from, man, kind of a disappointing November. There'll be a, a few good games, but it just doesn't feel like that hype gaming season anymore to, holy shit, November's going to be awesome, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, DSP got really fucking hype there. Like, there's going to be so much fun gaming going on in November. Like, seriously, my whole attitude about this gaming season has just flipped on its head with this trilogy. Because let me give you some perspective about the stuff that's coming out in November, Okay. <clears throat> currently we've got call of duty vanguard on the november 5th which admittedly it sounds like not a lot of people are excited for and i've already said i'm skipping i'm not playing the game i'm skipping it this year first time ever that i'm skipping a yearly gta or gta oh my god first time ever that i'm skipping a yearly uh call of duty and i'm skipping it this year yeah 
Um, November 9th, Forza Horizon 5. Now I'm stoked for that. I love Forza Horizon 3 and 4. I'm going to play the new one on the next-gen console. It's going to have amazing graphics, great gameplay. It's going to be an ultimate chill stream. I'm super excited for that. <clears throat> um, Shimogani Tensei 5 on November 12th, but here's the thing. I'm already in the midst of a, a lengthy RPG with Lost Judgment. I'm not starting another RPG right now. I already told everyone there's no way I'm starting another RPG until Lost Judgment's done, so that's shelved for now. Battlefield 2042 is coming out on November 19th, and although I was a little on the fence, I think I am probably going to get it. Um, Pokemon Diamond and... Oh, God. Him bitch. Dude, the Pokemon... Oh, shit. Dude, are we going to get another moment in DSP's Pokemon playthrough? Like... <laughs> Bruh. The DSP Pokemon playthroughs are always fucking prime, bro. We're gonna get shit like. Oh, fuck you, motherfucker! And Parole remakes on November 19th. Yes, I'll be playing one of those. Apparently, uh, oh, that's it, because the other stuff's December. Okay, so that was your November. I mean, let's think about that. That wasn't a huge November, right? When you're thinking about that, and like, that's not that much. Um, there's some good stuff in there for sure. But that's not a crazy November like we were used to having during the busy fall gaming season, right? But now we've got the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. Sorry, I'm just deleting these emails. Uh, now we've got the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. Now we got a lot. Now we got, you know, pretty excited to check this out. Now, how will I be tackling it? Because I'm sure people are wondering how still going to tackle this now. Um, We're going to start um... from the beginning. On November 11th, I'm going to start with GTA 3. We're just going to play it. And by the way, I'm going to be playing it with all the music. I, I'm not going to censor the game in any way, shape, or form. I've been there, done that. I did it uh, years ago, censoring the game. I'm not doing it this time. I refuse, actually. As a content creator, at this point, I want to experience these games for what they're supposed to be with the music and everything intact. Oh, I dude, that guy who made the This Is How You Don't Play for Pokemon Moon, Outsider, he still does all those videos. So he probably 100% will still do it. I don't care if the videos get claimed on YouTube. Admittedly, I don't think I make much money on the advertisements on YouTube anyway. But what I will ask is this, saying this in advance, considering that I am going to be eventually playing through the whole trilogy and with the music on. Please tip. Right. Please tip. I won't get ad revenue. Please tip. All right. I would hope that you guys will support the trilogy in other ways. Whether <laughs> You have to support the trilogy in other ways, guys. It's not enough just to watch it. It's not enough to just be there and have fun. You got to tip him, bro. You got to give him those shekels. Either that means when you're on a live stream, please come and contribute if normally you wouldn't. Or if you're not going to be on the live streams, if you're going to watch those videos on demand on YouTube, please look at the video description and contribute, whether it's a patron pledge, sending a tip, whatever it is. I would ask, please. Remember, guys, too. That's not begging. That's advertisement. Please do so. Because here's the deal. You know, you know, 100% of those videos will be claimed. 100%. And Juavi2312 with the two? I'll press it again, man. That's not begging. That's advertisement of the of the videos are going to get claimed on YouTube. I will make no money on any of those videos on YouTube. Despite the fact that I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, I will go as far to say this. I guarantee you those videos will have more views than anything I've done in like the last six months. Probably the only other sub this year that'll beat that is like Resident Evil 8. GTA brings the butts to seats. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people will be very excited to watch me play those games again. I'm excited to play them again. Modernized controls, better graphics. Sand the Mammon with the two shekels. Oy vey, Griffin. That's right, man. Shalom. The Spore Hacker with the 10. Appreciate it, man. Pokemon is the most stagnant franchise, but the fanboys would buy everything as long as it's Pokemon. Facts, man. I will. You can't have another opinion but a positive one about the franchise, according to Pokemon fans. I, can't eh, I don't know, man. As a Pokemon fan, I don't really care if people don't like it. I mean, I'm cool with it, personally. I've not disliked a Pokemon game other than Sun and Moon. I fucking hate Sun and Moon. So, I can at least be honest and, you know, call it like it is. Like, I fucking hate Sun and Moon garbage but yeah some motherfuckers can't even admit like there's a bad game or whatever so i feel you man i completely understand 
but that's just fanboys in general. But I don't know about stagnant, to be honest. Like, if they really alter the gameplay of Pokemon too much, I think people would kind of get pissed. I mean, they are kind of doing that with Arceus, so we shall see. And Leonard with a 2, he needs to show the AdSense. Yeah, I mean, DSP, like, I don't know how many views. Let's see. How much does DSP get in a month? Social Blade. Um, It's DSP Gaming, right? I always forget. So DSP gets 600,000 views a month, which that is about... 2,000 to 5,000, or no, not 5,000, 2,000 to 3,000 a month, I'd say is probably conservative. 2,000, 3,000 in ad revenue, but all of his money comes from fucking tips and super chats. And Z here with the three. <laughs> gotcha, man. I mean, holy shit, this is going to be great, but... I know that's what's going to happen is that the videos will be claimed 100%. So I'm going to have to ask for your buy-in on this. That you guys are going to say, we want to see you play the trilogy with the music on this time. We will come and support the streams. We will support the what videos. What do I make? Do that for me. Um, I can tell you real quick. For the last... I think my shit's down this month. Yeah. It is. Rip. I think it's because the earnings have been delayed. But, um, just make sure I don't have any, yeah, I don't think there's anything on here. There, you can see. So, in the past, bruh, RIP the subs. Every time I stream, I lose subs. I can't fucking help it. It's whatever. I lose, like, 100-something subs every time I stream. It's lame. But, yeah, estimated revenue, 8,000. Yeah, so there you go. It's the one bad thing about streaming on YouTube is every time you go live, you lose like 100 subs. I don't fucking know why. I think YouTube like purges your subs or some shit. I don't fucking know, man. I'll do that for you and I'll leave the music on, okay? Active community guidelines strike? No, I just have a warning, bro. Dude, literally that warning was from a video I made. Um... On, I think it was The Witcher 3. It was like literally titled The Witcher 3 Best Sex Scene. And it was like two rabbits in the game humping each other. So, I don't fucking know, man. They um gave me a community guideline strike for that. For sexual content. It was literally like two rabbits in The Witcher 3 mounting each other. I don't fucking know, bro. I got warned for that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So there you go. Um, So that's starting on the 11th. November 11th, I'm playing GTA. No, nah, dude, it was thirst bait. Like, I literally had a picture of Yennefer's ass in the fucking thumbnail. Trying to, like, bait motherfuckers into thinking, like, oh my god, dude, I get to watch the Witcher sex scene. So it was like a fucking bait and switch. To, like trap in the horny motherfuckers and then thinking they're gonna watch the sex scene from the witcher they see two fucking rabbits from the game that was kind of the idea so i'm guessing some like really fucking salty ass bitch clicked on the fucking video thinking like oh my god dude i get to watch the witcher sex scene and he clicked on it meat in his hand ready to go lubed up and then when he clips, clicks on it, he gets pissed off because it's not what he was expecting, and he reported the video. That's kind of my theory on it. That's my theory, is some motherfucker actually thought he was about to beat his fucking meat to a Witcher 3 sex scene, and then reported the video. Like a pussy. A3, and if you take a look at the other games at that time, likely I'll, I'll be playing Forza Horizon. I'll be juggling probably the end game of things like Far Cry and stuff like that. I'll definitely still be playing Lost Judgment. Like, that's not going anywhere. That's going to be a super lengthy playthrough, I know. Sam the Madman with the two plot twist, your subs were into it? Well, considering I barely had any subs back then, yeah. But by then, definitely. Maybe. I'll be probably done with games like Alan Wake, Back for Blood. Uh, House of Ashes will definitely be done. Um, 
We'll just have a few lingering playthroughs by that point. So GTA will be front and center, the main featured game for me. Um, and I'm excited for that, obviously. So, oh, excuse me. So, yes, it's going to be good. I know, this is hilarious. Snowdalist Snow says, I can't believe we're all excited to play 20-year-old games. Gaming is fucked, just like Hollywood. Yes. How many times in 2021 I have I said, it, man, this just seems like a terrible year for games. Every major game is a re-release, a rehash, a remake, a remaster. And the games that have been original IPs or whatever have been underwhelming. Like I said, I don't, I'm not even kidding you. I can only name about five good games from this year that I've played. You know, really. I can only. Name I don't even know if I could name five. Z here with the three, it sucks about PS5 Dark Plates. Didn't they just come out with another set of them? So I think they're fine now. Name about five games that stand out in my mind is these are games that I would consider Game of the Year contenders. That's pathetic. That's 2021 in a nutshell. The game, the year of delays of the good games you're waiting for or disappointment in the games that came out. So it's, it's hilarious that this trilogy... Yeah, dude, he's literally bitching about things being re-released, and now he's excited for the GTA trilogy. You know, DSP, you might want to keep that same energy. Trilogy might actually be the biggest thing in gaming in this year, and it was just a, it's just a remaster trilogy, right? It's not even new games, and it's not even something we knew about until like two weeks ago or whatever, right? Like, we was rumors, but we weren't confirmed this was even coming out. Griffith, the allegations true that you're a furry? Bro, I'll be whatever you want me to be. Don't you worry. So, I am, I, I, I'm not even kidding you. Reading this news on, on, on Twitter this morning, my excitement for this gaming season went from like, yeah, to whoa, this is good. This is exciting. This is going to give us exactly what we needed. It's going to give refreshment to the streams. You're going to have people coming. Watch this. People are going to be coming to my streams that haven't been around for a while. Oh my God, Phil's playing GTA again. He's doing it with the music on this time. You know, the new version, better visuals, control. We got to see this, right? Plus, I'm going to mix that up with all the other stuff going on. You're still going to see Battlefield. There's going to be Pokemon. There's going to be variety in there. This is what I needed for variety's sake this time of year. And I'm very excited for this trilogy. I really am. I'm, I'm like super pumped and stoked for this now. So I hope that you guys are just as excited as me. And you will join me starting on November 11th for that trilogy. And uh, again, the buy-in here is that, oh, I 100% I, I want you to play these games with the music on, but I will support the play. <laughs> Dude, you got to give him money so he can play copyrighted music on his stream. What a fucking loser, man. Like, this shit is so fucking lame. What the fuck, bro? If you want him to listen to copyrighted music, you got to fucking pay up, bitches. Playthrough, please do. I'm going to need your support to make these playthroughs work. You know, I can't have dead days when nothing's coming in because I'm making no revenues on those playthrough, uh, playthroughs on YouTube, okay? All right, what should we take a look at next, guys? What do y'all want to watch? What should we take a look at next? Find a job on the side? I know, for real. Instead of just sitting there begging and worrying about playing copyrighted music on a stream, why don't you just get a fucking job? Crap Gamer? What did he upload? Let's see. Girl Kurokai with the 5 DSP be like, give me money, money me, money now, me a money needing a lot now. That's right, man, but remember... That's not begging. That's advertisement. <laughs> Phil got roasted. Xbox lost big exclusive again, bro. 
I thought Xbox lost a big exclusive last night. They lost another one. Oh no, man. Oh no, dude. They lost another big exclusive. Dude, why does he look like a fucking 80s action hero in this fuck? He looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter if he dyed his hair. Like, bruh, legit. Sony takes away a Xbox exclusive for the second time in two days. And they also make a surprising announcement that has everybody talking. Did Obviously, this is something that Sony was very, um, very... Yeah. Z Herb with the A, but Ratchet and Clank, but Returnal this year was 10 out of 10. What games does Xbox have? Halo, bro. I don't know. I have Returnal. I haven't played it, but I don't even know if it's good. He's hiding the Gears tattoo. That's right, man. He has it covered up. He's ashamed of himself. Hey tight-lipped about and it's still just a huge surprise everybody's going to be excited by this news you don't want to miss it i can promise you that hey everyone what's up i'm the crap gamer and this is of course crap gamer reviews your home for gaming news opinions reviews and much more you probably notice a few cool changes around here but that shouldn't stop you from giving us a like and possibly consider subscribing if you haven't already done so thank you so much for choosing to spend some of your free time with me and my silly youtube channel now you're welcome. Every single year, we get tons of games from all of these companies, right? Microsoft, Sony, the big third-party developers and things like that. It's always such a surprise and such an amazing feeling when we see something new for the first time or when we get updates on things. I'm not going to lie. I love E3. and I inc Dude, these scripted videos are so fucking bad, man. Oh, my God, dude. Crap needs to bring back the unscripted <laughs> like what the fuck dude littered with the two chihuahua the bounty hunter maybe man or pussy the bounty hunter instead of dog get it torbulus of the five appreciate it man griffin do you feel bad about the sony ponies losing god of war forever i don't man i can only feel a sense of pride and accomplishment to choose my favorite young yeah reddit meme but I don't know, man. I think it's good overall. These poor souls, they can only play exclusives. I don't even think they play them, though. That's the thing. I think a lot of these motherfuckers just talk about them. I don't think they even play them. Like, I think most of these dudes who sit here and talk about exclusives all fucking day don't even play video games on average. They probably buy the game, but they never fucking touch it. I think that's what it is. It's more of just a dick measuring contest. For a bunch of middle-aged men with no fucking lives. Incredibly miss E3. I miss the real E3 where people could go there and attend it. And you could hear people cheering. And, and see the reactions to great announcements. That was an absolutely amazing thing to witness. And I loved covering E3 and talking about it. It was just such a great time. And I don't think we'll ever get back to that the way that we were at one particular point. But it's still just nice to kind of reminisce and go back and say, hey... That was a really cool thing. Now, we get announcements and we get these little digital events, and I think those are very cool. But on the other hand, they aren't nearly as respected or responded to as much as a big, big event. And I think some of that blame could possibly go on Nintendo. They're the ones that started the whole digital event thing, and I'm sure that they save a lot of money by doing that. But just from a fan's perspective, it's not nearly as interesting or fun to watch. With that being said, Sony came out and announced a new state of play. And it looks like this is going to be a pretty big deal. But I would also say, please temper expectations and don't expect a bunch of exclusives or anything like that. It's going to be a pretty, it's going to be a pretty big deal, but don't expect anything, guys. You know, Microsoft isn't having really an exciting event or anything, dude. It's not going to be anything that special. But Sony's having an awesome state of play event with exciting news. But, you know, don't really expect anything. Like, bro, this shit's so fucking sad. They're pretty much just keeping us in the know for the rest of this year, it looks like. And uh, have a lot of third-party things like that. So, 2021 is slowly winding to a close. But Sony isn't quite done with their announcements. Following their big September... Yeah, Dante's Inferno is a really good game. I wish they got a sequel. PlayStation Showcase, which give players a peek at 
God of War Ragnarok and Spider-Man 2 for the first time, Sony will be offering up a State of Play show in October, October 27th to be exact, that will focus more on third-party projects for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. While some of the focus will be on games we already know about, Sony is also promising a few reveals, quote-unquote, from their various third-party partners, which sounds like a good thing to me. I always think, you know what? Exclusives are great, and I love exclusive, and those are the reasons that I buy particular consoles for particular games. But at the same time, obviously, we're also looking forward to the other types of games that we're going to see, and it's always nice to see those games come out and, and come to fruition as well. So anything can be a surprise. Anything can be a great game. It doesn't have to necessarily be first-party but it is cool to see those two. This is what Sony had to say. Just a quick note to tell you that State of Play returns next Wednesday. This time out, we'll be focusing on announcements and updates for upcoming third-party releases headed to the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4. The show is looking to be 20 minutes long or so, and we'll share... Oh, so it's really going to be shit. 20 minutes of garbage, most likely. ...new looks at previously announced games, plus a few reveals from our partners from around the world. See you Wednesday. So given the show is only 20 minutes, we should probably temper <laughs> expectations, like I said earlier, but still. It's good. Then why are you saying it's something to be fucking excited about? If you're telling everyone to temper your expectations, why are you saying, oh my god, guys, get excited, there's a new state of play, oh my god. It's going to be interesting to see what Sony serves up. Given how much is being packed into the first half of 2022, they have a lot of options. We could hear more about the PS5 version of Grand Theft Auto V, or maybe get a new trailer for Elden Ring, or maybe even one of Square Enix's upcoming PlayStation console exclusives like Final Fantasy XVI or Forspoken. There are a lot of other reveals to consider. Um, I think there could be some indie games and things like that that we might see. It depends on where you're at or where you feel about these type of things. State of Play, as I said, drops next Wednesday, October 27th, at 5 p.m. Eastern, it can be viewed on YouTube or Twitch. So that's a really cool thing. And if you're new to the channel, know that I always link all of the news articles in the description. So if you want to check it out and see the press release for yourself, you can feel free to do that and then just kind of get an idea of where, what's going on. So personally, seeing some third-party stuff, I wouldn't mind that. I don't mind that. We could see pretty much anything. I love seeing just games and, and having an event where people can have something to talk about afterwards, which obviously if you do YouTube, you want that to be the case. Uh, and there's also the case where we could see maybe some new gameplay for the first time. So that's really cool to see as well. I, I can't... Dude, the video we watched the other night, his voice was way worse than this. Imagine what we'll all see, but I'm sure we'll... Like, hold up. Listen to this shit. Where was it? This one. PlayStation since the Xbox 3 sauce is Sony's gain. This is definitely a video you don't want to miss. Hey there everyone, I'm the Crap Gamer and this of course is Crap Gamer Reviews, your home for gaming news, opinions, reviews, and much more. You'll probably notice a few cool changes around here, but that shouldn't stop you from giving us a like and possibly consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Dude, he's talking like a fucking welcomer at a theme park. Like when you walk into Disney World, he's like, welcome to Disney World. You know, you may notice some changes around here, but don't let that deter you from having a good time. Like, bro, it literally sounds like that shit. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some of your free time. Oh my god, thank you so much. Like, what the fuck, bro? With me and my silly YouTube channel. Now, Xbox is known for Halo, Gears of War, and Forza racing games, and a bunch of piddly crap that most people don't really care about. Sure, Sea of Thieves is a brush of fresh air and has brought... Like, bruh, he literally sounds like one of those fucking greeters at the theme park. Oh my god, do you want us to take your picture? Welcome to the park! We'll see some stuff that might be on a little bit smaller scale, some mixed stuff. Usually, if you can factor in between two and three minutes per little detail then that's pretty much going to give you an idea of how many things we're going to see. So they usually go by pretty fast, but I'm excited to see exactly what's going to happen and, and what we're going to see from Sony. Uh, it's always going to be a fantastic time. And again, I would just say temper expectations just a little bit. Because Abel with the two, is he sexually attracted to Sony? I think crap is the case of the Fetty Wap lyrics, man. He's in love with that money and he ain't ever letting go. But the problem is, is his audience let him go.
because you're not going to get Wolverine 2 gameplay or, or Spider-Man 2 gameplay or anything like that. So just know that that's not going to happen. So with that being said, the other bit of news is I had did a video, I believe, mm. yesterday where I talked about a game that was going to be coming to PlayStation 5 that was previously an Xbox console exclusive. Now, these things happen all the time. We see this happen more and more with these smaller games, and especially when it comes to stuff that ends up dropping like on Game Pass or whatever as a day one thing, these small developers almost always bring their exclusive games to other platforms at some point. And I've kind of gone over this verbatim and ad nauseum because a lot of people still don't believe it when you know these games go multi-platform. So I just think it's funny because I've seen this game and yo, games look go at that, dude! Wait, what the fuck, bruh? <laughs> what the fuck? That face, man. Platform. So I just think it's funny because I've seen this game and others like it on those Xbox fanboy lists where they try to say, "Hey, look what games we're playing. We don't need a." Horizon Forbidden West or God of War Ragnarok. We've got that dude was like, mm, choke me, daddy. I can't Crazy crack at 31 with the two. Can you spam the bra button? I mean, I can press it a couple times. Bruh. 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 Got 12 minutes and, uh, you know, the artful escape. It's, it's great to be an Xbox gamer because we get to play these games. And I'm just sitting there thinking. That's, that's the biggest cap I've ever seen in my life. You know what I mean? Uh, and and that, that's something that happens more and more as well. So it kind of blows my mind. With that being said, this is one of those games that was in a list. And now it looks like it is going to be on the PlayStation. Leonard with the two, I'm about to bust. Same here, man. I wish that was me getting choked. Oh, my God. It's my kink, man. Side Just in time for Halloween, too, which is cool. Uh, the reverse horror game Carry On from publisher Devolver Digital. <laughs> Carry On? And developer. Dude, I love Carry Ons. It's really nice not having to check your luggage. Phobia Game Studio was just shadow dropped onto the PlayStation Store today. Uh-oh. Just in time for the season. Your job is to simply, well, to eat. What will you be eating? Well, the scientists who have idiotically decided to come to work today. That's basically the description of it. It's a bloody 2D side-scrolling game that will not only have you weaving through tight corners to gain the upper hand on silly humans trying to kill you, unaware they're about to be lunch, but weaving through the lab. So you generation with the two, oh no, a bad game that's going to PS4? Poor Xbox? I know, man. It's game fucking over, but still no video about God of War going to PC. And Sam the Madman with the two choke me with that echo, bruh. All right, I got you. Bruh. Choke, choke me, daddy. daddy. There you go. Crap is bragging about this coming to PS5. That's right, man. He's hyped. He's real fucking hyped. I'm exploring different paths along the way as well. Along with the announcement, a new trailer for the game was released, which doesn't show any actual gameplay, but is instead an animated short film meant to capture the horror that scientists will be faced at your hands, or more accurately, the tentacles. So I think this is something that's cool and that a lot of people are going to be, uh, you know, just something to kind of check out if you haven't already checked that out. I personally haven't. But, you know, we'll see what happens uh, sooner rather than later because, you know, there's a lot of people that like these type of games. This game sort of, from what I've seen of it, reminds me of something that might have been in the Xbox, you know, summer showcase or something like that for indie games or something. But uh, for me personally, I just feel like this is just maybe a nice little thing to pick up for the season. It's holiday, it's spooky or whatever, kind of a little fun thing to play. Ooh, it's spooky. Yeah, the Xbox is fucking done, bro. This crushes Microsoft. Again, I'm not a huge indie guy, but I still think that they have a place as like the side dish or whatever. And so it's nice to see stuff kind of make the jump from, you know, Xbox to PlayStation and vice versa, depending on. Able with the two Xbox lost carrion. I'm selling my Xbox Series X. I didn't even know the game fucking existed, bro, but I'm getting rid of it, too. I agree, man. This is unacceptable news. Completely ruins the console for me. What it is, like these small games, I've preached it and preached it. They all end up everywhere, so it's stupid to put them in your list. I, I will never understand that. So, With that being said, thank you guys so much for checking it out. I certainly appreciate it. I think 
the world of you. If you enjoy the content, please consider leaving us a like or subscribing. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell every Who is us, bro? Who else am I leaving this like towards other than you, crap? Who is us in this relationship? Everybody, Crap Gamer's here. Thanks for watching. Rack him up. Fact him up. Crap Gamer him up. Crap Gamer, out. Thank God, man. Crap Gamer is here, so we have nothing to fear. Torbulus with a 5. I find it ironic that he's playing a game that historically showed us the benefits of having a powerful PC for gaming. You gotta appreciate the irony, especially when it comes to games getting ported over to PC, like the one he refuses to talk about. Completely. It's a very funny. Why are video games no longer... Yo, should we click on this one? Why are video games no longer fun? Let me just see what this is. Are video games still fun? What the fuck? I don't mean that in the sense of like, is GTA 5 a fun game? It objectively is. Going in as Trevor- Okay, well question answered bro. Video games are still fun. You know, the mystery has been solved. And going on a rampage still gives me a small rush of serotonin. Gives me a raging boner. But now the game's been out for seven years, and a rampage just- Then play something else, bro. Isn't as fun as it used to be, and I alt F4 and go back to do something else. That's where I think the main problem is. Not as fun as it used to be. One of my best friends told me on Discord the other day that he was taking a break from Discord and his PC, as he found it boring and wouldn't be online as much. At first, I was wondering what he meant. Then, I started to think about what he said, and I ended up agreeing. Let me give you an idea of what he Bro, why is all this footage, like, in fucking 240p? Meant. How often have you finished school or work, and you go and sit by your PC or console, and were so ready to have some fun, and then you just sit there for hours, waiting for something to happen? You have games to play, and they're good games for something to happen. You have ga If those are your only games to play, I actually feel bad for you. I mean, Destiny 2 is alright, CSGO is good, Skyrim's good, but the fucking rest of this shit? Hell nah. I wouldn't want to play it either. Like, fuck, bro. Adventure Capitalist, Aim Hero, Aim Lab, Airscape, Among Us. <laughs> Fucking Battleborn, Black Cops 3, um, World at War, decent but old as fuck, City Skylines, boring, Color Pixels, Comedy Night. Games to play, and they're good games, they're just not fun anymore. I sit here most days looking at my desktop with hundreds of games on it, and I spend most of my time just on Chrome watching Netflix or YouTube. And I don't know why, I want to play these games, and sometimes I even open them, but I never make it further than an hour before I get bored and go back to endlessly scrolling on TikTok. So, I've been rambling about things not being fun. So, what is fun? Fun is a very subjective term. Ask 50 people what they find fun, and you'll get 50 different answers. One may say roller coasters. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Another may say. <laughs> Bro, I love that video. Say <laughs> getting pegged in the. That motherfucker just literally passes the fuck out. The ass. It's very subjective. But I'll throw my two cents in. Because this is my YouTube channel, and my opinion is the only opinion that truly matters around. Having sex is fun, lol? I wouldn't know. Something is fun when you want to relive the moment again. This can be in the form of nostalgia or just going to bed with a grin on your face. I remember a few years ago when me and my friends would spend hours playing Team Fortress 2. I'm sorry. But not the actual game. We played the man versus machine mode. 
I used to play it on a MacBook and we could only play one map because that was the only one that would load on Apple products. It got so bad one night that we played it all night until the sun came up the next day. Why is that bad? Like, what do you mean? It got so bad one night. We had so much fun and we played it all night. Like, why is that fucking bad? Pothead investor with the fire. Just wait until the webhead himself comes to PC. The salt. Oh, dude, yeah. If Spider-Man comes, they're going to be really fucking pissed. And you generation with the two comedy night is just slurs the game. Ah, uh, fun times, man. The British must like to party. I don't fucking know, man. My dad was so pissed off at me that I stayed up all night gaming, but I didn't care. Because then I poured bleach in his coffee the next morning, and I never had to fucking deal with him again. Get fucked, dad. Again. I had fun. Pure, childlike, unadulterated fun. That was a good night. I wish I could live that night again, because life was easier then. I didn't really care about anything at that point. Nostalgia is such a double-edged sword when you get old. Nostalgia? Bro, it's nostalgia. Not nostalgia. Where the fuck did the R come from? This is what I mean, man. The British just really don't know how to speak their own language. Nostalgia is such a... Nostalgia. Where the fuck do you get nostalgia? <laughs> like, I don't fucking get it, man. Double-edged sword when you get older. I'll Say Batman. There you go. Batman. On the one hand, it reminds you of good times in the past that you look back on fondly. But on the other hand, it reminds you of good times in the past. And Why is this video? Yo, like talking about some dude like his life was ruined by drugs. It makes you sad because you can't have those times again. Not saying that there can't be any good times in games nowadays. Me and my friends discovered a game called The Forest a while back and the whimsy came back. We had the biggest smile on our faces for days. Building huge bases. Fighting off gruesome cannibals and... Until you got grieved. Just generally being idiots. If you want a game to play with your friends, I highly suggest playing The Forest. It's the most fun I've had with my friends in a long time. I just wish I had friends. <laughs> but it's still got stale. And now we almost never touch the game. Except from when we all say we should play it again. We play it for a day straight and then never again. Because it does So... You got your enjoyment out of the game and you moved on to something else. Pretty standard. Lunar Studios of the Five people say the video games aren't fun anymore. Are people that play the same game and rarely branch out? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like... If you just play one video game all day, every day... You're going to get sick of it eventually. Unless it's me with Halo MCC. I don't know if that's possible. Leonard with the five, I said Batman and accidentally swallowed my or swallowed my Jolly Rancher. R.I.P. Yeah. Hopefully it was a green apple one because those things are fucking gross. Doesn't bring back. Does anyone actually like taste like fucking acid? Like you know that taste you get in your throat when you throw up, like the stomach acid taste. Like, the acidity of the green apple Jolly Rancher reminds me of that shit. Like, it literally tastes like vomit to me. I don't fucking know, man. I don't like it. The green apple one, just, it reminds me of the taste of vomit. Because the acid in it? I don't know. It's gross. Oh, dude, the blue is definitely... the bl Actually, no, blue is not the best. The watermelon one is the best one. The pink one... That shit is fucking fire. Yeah, I hate anything grape. Anything grape-flavored, I don't like at all. 
any like candy, soda, whatever. If something is grape flavored, I don't fucking like it. Watermelon is the best one easily. If you guys like wa watermelon Jolly Ranchers, you should go buy the red edition Red Bulls. They're watermelon flavored and they taste just like a Jolly Rancher. They are so fucking good, man. If you like the Watermelon Jolly Ranchers, go get the Red Edition Red Bulls. It's watermelon flavored, and it's fucking amazing. Trust me. The memories we used to have. At yeah, I like the fruit grapes. Like, I will eat grape jelly. I will eat, like, actual grapes. I mean, I fucking drink a ton of wine. So grapes themselves aren't the problem. But anything f flavored like a grape, I don't like. Like, anything with grape flavoring, I think is gross. I've been chiefing with the five. Imagine if Marvel or Disney did what MLD... Wait, fuck. If MLB, not D. If what MLB did, it made Insomniac and Sony port Spider-Man to PC and Xbox. I don't think that'll ever happen because Sony is holding the card of Spider-Man that Disney desperately wants. Like, Dis Disney wants the Spider-Man movie rights, which only Sony can give them. Like, they want Spider-Man in the MCU, so in return for Sony letting them use Spider-Man in the MCU, they give Sony basically unlimited rights to Marvel video games. So, that's kind of the trade-off, and that's probably why it will never happen. Because as long as Disney wants those movie rights, they will never deny Sony the video game aspect about the game and that's what the problem is with modern day video games they don't leave a good enough memory this is the problem I or you're just getting older bro I have with Pokemon every yo what the fuck's wrong with Pokemon every time a new Pokemon game would come out I would buy it I would never know why because some of the recent ones aren't even that good I recently realized it's because I'm trying to bring back those memories of diamond and pearl that I had on my DS as a kid. Bro, you literally just sound like you're getting older. But I mean, just pick up the remakes in like a couple weeks. <laughs> Not knowing anything about type Easy problem. or strategy, and just solely training my starter to a monstrously high level, beating all enemy Pokemon in one hit. You did not beat that Pokemon in one hit. But none of them can do that. There's also the fact that we change as people over time. Games will always be just lines of code made by companies who just want to make a profit. This literally just sounds like someone coming to grasp with the fact that they're getting older and their childhood is over. Like, bruh, it's not video games, it's you. Like, I used to be obsessed with playing video games every single fucking night. It was the only thing I ever wanted to do. The thing I'd do is go sit on my fucking Xbox and play video games. That was it. That was my entire night. Now it's like I just want to hang out and do other shit. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, video games do not have to be your sole existence. But it's the players that change too. I know that's a cringe thing to say, but it is true. I'm not who I was when I was 12 playing TF2 till sunrise. I'm a much older, wiser person. Judging by this video, it's not really wisdom I'm detecting. We can't bring back those fun memories because we aren't the same people. It would be lying to say that I'm happier now than I was when I was a kid playing Overwatch in 2016 with Lewis. He was happy playing Overwatch? Now I really have to question what the fuck this dude's talking about. Raging when we lost and screaming when we won. Video games have provided people with... Some of the happiest memories anyone could ever ask for. But they've... The happiest memories you could ever ask for were in fucking Overwatch? Bruh. Not been able to fill the same place that they used to. That's why I think video games just aren't that fun anymore. Yo, what is this Pokemon song? Does anybody know what this is? What is this one? Twin Leaf Town? 
Bro, that sounds so fucking familiar. I gotta look this up. Bro, thank you for the assist. I appreciate it. So let's see. Artie and Melnikov with the five sounds like everybody who hit their early 30s in a nutshell who claim that gaming is dead. They just don't want to accept that they've grown up. I know. That's what I mean, bro. Video games are in a better place than ever before. There's more video games to play than any point in human fucking history. There's more variety. There's more games in every genre than you could ever possibly get to. Like, gaming is in a great fucking place right now. It's more accessible than ever. It's more accepted than ever. It's more understood. Like, you have literally the golden age of gaming at the moment right now. But people are like, oh, dude, it's different, so I don't fucking like it. And it's people who are afraid to admit they're just old. Like, bro, I'll admit it. I'm becoming an old man. I don't play video games all the fucking time like I used to unless it's New World, which... Bro, that game's addicting as shit. But, <laughs> yeah, you get the point. Travis with the two, the problem with games seems like nothing's new. But, yeah, that's the thing. You can only reinvent the wheel so many fucking times, man. That's the thing. It's like you play so many shooters, all shooters kind of start to feel the same. It's like watching anime, bro. This is what hit me. Like, I watched a bunch of anime, and then I realized, bro, this is the same shit every single fucking time. So eventually you start to notice the repetitive nature because you can only experience something that's similar so many times before you just get bored of it. Like, that's what it comes down to. Sam the Madman with the two diva is my happiest memory, bruh. She's my one true love. Oh, shit. Yo, hold up. Let me check something real quick. I just remembered this. I forgot, bro. Hold up. I got to open up Battle.net real quick. Okay. Why is it taking so long? Okay, there it goes. All right. We're going to do something here. So let me put it on this real quick. That reminds me. That reminds me. Oh, what fucking happened? Is it black? I can't afford this shit! Which one's up? Alright, cool. We're good now. We're good. While I am thinking of it, bro. Where is it? All right, I just wanted to get the D.Va Halloween skin. <laughs> Bruh, I missed out on this one last year, and I literally was waiting for the shit to become available again. <laughs> I literally was waiting for this shit to become available again. I just remembered it's almost fucking Halloween. So I was like, shit, man, I need to remember to buy this shit. All that to purchase a skin? That's right, man. Gotta get my Queen Diva. But yeah, I think I had it on this one. Yeah, bro. She's got that galaxy booty because this ass is out of this world, bro. Like, hold up. Where is it? You got a victory, but yeah, this is the one. Her ass looks like a galaxy because it's out of this world, man. That's all I can say. The real diva skin? That's right, bro. I just wanted to share this moment with you guys. 
Lunar Studios of the Five, the only one making gaming not fun anymore is himself. Exactly, bro. 100% agree. You're not playing the right type of game. Immortal Remus with the 449. As someone whose first gaming device was the original Game Boy, I still think games and general life are still fun. Same here, man. You just have to, like, expand your horizons. Down horrendous? I don't know, man. Like, bruh. I love how it makes it look like she's just fucking naked, bro. Like, they knew what they were doing with that. They knew exactly what they were doing with that. Like, all the victory poses are not that great, except... I mean, that one's alright, but... This is definitely the better one, if you want to get the up-close and personal shot. But, yeah. That's all I wanted to share. <laughs> That's all I wanted to share, man. Bro, I'm not even horny. Just wanted to share, like... My passion with you guys. I don't fucking know, bro. Bro, they did do D.Va right. Absolutely. Best part of the game. No cap. Not even a question. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to make sure I bought that fucking skin. Because I forgot to do it last year. As you can see, I have like 5,000 coins just waiting for it. They changed McCree's name. What'd they change it to? Cowboy. Queen Diva indeed, man. Absolutely. One day I hope to hear Diva say. Oh my god, stop bro, I'm stuck. Can you help me? Cole Cassidy? What type of retarded ass name is that? I don't know, man. This shit's fucking stupid. What is McCree? A racial slur or something? Some shit name. What the fuck was wrong with the name McCree? developer's name then what the fuck's wrong with the name McCree oh the harassment shit uh, okay Jesus Christ man I don't know this shit's fucking stupid nobody fucking knew that McCree was named after a dev like they could have just fucking left it nobody would have given a shit Like, did anyone actually know that McCree was named after a developer? I sure as fuck didn't. <laughs> I sure as fuck didn't know about it. I don't think anybody gave a fuck. Uh, I don't fucking know, man. Yo, we're at five hours. I think I'm going to head off for the night, guys. It's 4.30.